Hello and welcome to another video of the Marylebone Implant Centre. Today I'm going to talk to you about the CT scan, why is it so important and why we always require to have a CT scan before we start our implant treatments. There are basically three reasons why the CT scan is so important. The first reason is because it's the only uh, diagnostic image that offer us the third dimension. So what does it mean? It means that all the x-rays that we usually uh, uh, see that the dentist takes, they usually have just two dimensions. So basically we can uh, measure the length and the height. So it's like a normal photo basically, but we don't have the depth. Okay, so we don't have the width inside. We cannot see in measure inside of that image. Uh, and that's why it's so important. Let's say that we have uh, a tooth that was uh, extracted and now we have a missing tooth area and we would like to have an, uh, we would like to place an implant in that area. Well, basically I need to know, not, not just if I have enough height of bone, but I need to know the, the width, so the thickness of the bone in that area, because I need to know uh, what is the, the size of the implant that I need to choose in order to, to place in that location. And also I need to make sure that the implant will be all surrounded by bones, so I cannot just place the implant and then half of the implant is outside the bone. So the CT scan is the only uh, diagnostic image that will give us that third dimension. So it will allow us to see, for example, if we uh, need to do any kind of bone grafting uh, or uh, even in a location, for example, like the upper molars, uh, in, 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 in the, the back molars in, in the upper jaw, if we have enough height of bone uh, until we reach the sinus uh, uh, and what's the anatomy inside of the sinus. So it's very, very critical that we gain access to that third dimension, the width. We need to know the width and the depth of uh, the image in that location where we want to place the implant, if it's one or more than one. The other reason why it's so important, it's for uh, accuracy purposes. It's the only diagnostic images that uh, will offer us about 99% of accuracy. So this means that if we have, let's say that I want to place an implant and I have a nerve running by, or if I have my sinuses, or if I have my nose, I need to know exactly how much bone I have, what's the distance in between my implant and that uh, very uh, sensitive and vital structure. And the CT scan is the only uh, diagnostic image that will give us that measurement, that will give us that safety measurement that we need in order to do a safety procedure. So this is something that will, uh, in the end of the day, will protect the patient. So as we said, we have already these two reasons. So that third dimension, so we need to know the depth, we need to know exactly uh, in terms of accuracy, what's the distance in between our implants and these very important vital structures. And the third reason, it's more uh, related with uh, treatment planning and, and, and ultimately with finances. So before I start my treatment, I need to know and I need to explain to the patient uh, what uh, is going to be our route, so what kind of procedures we need if we're just going to place the implant, if we need to do any kind of bone grafting, if we need to do any sinus lift, if we need to do, I mean, any other procedure additional to the, to the implant placement. And that, of course, because that will have uh, a reflex on the cost of the treatment, that has, to be, uh, that has to be calculated and presented to the patient before we start the treatment. It's not after I do my uh, extractions or after uh, I, am, uh, I started my, my surgical procedure that I will uh, tell to the patient that uh, an additional procedure will be needed. So it's, everything is, 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 is done and discussed before we start the procedure, all the sequence of the treatment and also all the cost of the treatment. So the patient has a close cost of the treatment plan before we start uh, to perform any kind of procedure and the patient knows upfront what needs to be done and how much is going to cost. So depth of field, so the third dimension for safety reasons, so accuracy and it will allow us to do a closed treatment plan before we actually start to do our treatments. 
I think for today, uh, it, this is it's it's all. There is, there are a lot more things that we could discuss about uh, the CT scan. One more thing that uh, I'd like to mention is that because the CT scan uh, is not utilizing the latest technology, the radiation uh, of the the, the CT scan machine is uh, nowadays very low, and uh, this is something that we we should also have in mind. So it's not. Uh, similar to the old uh, tomography uh, exams that used to be done in the hospital that used to uh, involve lots of radiation. Nowadays things have evolved so this is something that we should have in mind as well. I would like to thank you for your attention and I hope to see you soon for another video. Thank you very much.